What makes for a great game, story, or movie experience? This is a common question whether you're interviewing for game production or movie production or even authoring a book. Pacing is a big part of what makes something entertaining entertaining. And to demonstrate this, I was pulling a graph that comes from Gamma Sutra. And you may have recently seen this featured on Penny Arcade because they did an episode about pacing, which made me rethink about this. But this is a plot of how exciting things are in Star Wars. It opens with the Rebels being captured, Luke's parents being killed, we meet Han Solo, Alderaan is destroyed, Luke's training, the Death Star, Obi-Wan's diversions, Leia, Obi-Wan killed, Rebel base, the trench run with using the force, and then we climax and it kind of ends. This is a plot of my horsepower over time at Laguna Seca. And I don't have this big bump that's right here, but that sort of excitement comes from, oh my god, I'm about to punch the accelerator, let's get going on this, this time run. So you can say that this peak would be here, and then you've got the small peak, a dip, a peak, a little bit of a dip, a bigger peak, a big dip, the Death Star, but they, eh, Obi-Wan's diversion, Leia, Obi-Wan killed, Rebel base, trench run. So it's an almost exact map of the same anticipation excitement building in a racetrack that the Star Wars had in the movies. And to me, that is the reinforcement or the, you know, kind of proof in the pudding. The, the way excitement should work in a story, a racetrack, a game, is all of the same. And at different time frames, you know, if you shrink some of these down, the, the horsepower matches this curve even in smaller amounts. And so you get that same kind of acceleration in the small amounts that you get in the big amounts. And so everything in the game should have a pace that matches this kind of curve at every scale. And I'll see if... It's not on YouTube, so I'll just include a link to the Penny Arcade video about this, because they covered it very well. But they really kind of covered it from a gaming standpoint, and I think that it plays in everywhere, and... I had talked about this a long time ago with examples other than Star Wars, but Star Wars is an example we can all relate to, so it's a really great one to use. And if you're interviewing for a game position, Star Wars is a great example to use because, well, everyone who's making games has seen Star Wars. So hopefully this is a great answer to a question, and if you ever get a chance to go drive Laguna Seca, it is an awesome course. It is probably my favorite.